Okay, we told recording. One, two, three. <laughs> you know, like you know, seven weeks of shutdown. It's uh, it's just a long, long time. Like you know, definitely, definitely, like you know, we we really miss our routine. Yeah, and then seems like you know, when when we retire, we have been exploring and refining our lifestyles to maintain our health right and then to balance our activities and also like making our retirement life meaningful like you know our daily schedule wasn't full um, it wasn't packed but no it, it was full but not packed okay like gym leisure program you know social and uh, community involvements and of course, like you now, family and church um, activities. But we miss our connection with our families, uh, grandchildren, friends, and our church lives. Now it seems like everything all ground to the halt, and uh, yeah, we have to adapt to the new solutions uh, to maintain connected. Well, on the other hand. It gives us the opportunity to um, to expose to new technologies, you know, like the online which we are we are now, and also like you know, the Bible study and the fellowship here as well. And uh, we are excited to chatting to our family and watching our grandchildren online, but it is still not the same feeling as a physical hug to the little ones. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I missed them. Okay, but it seemed like yeah, um, seemed like yeah, everybody is saying that like you know, the this is when this is over, like things will not be the same. Maybe this is the wake up call for us to uh, to prepare ourselves for change too. And you know, like you know, that life is so fragile, uh, so helpless, and so precious. Yes, but we have mm -hmm. hope. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, the thing is, I really miss is my routine, as Ken said, but I miss all my volunteer work. I uh, work in the hospital mm -hmm. and uh, uh, help out in the home center and also, you know, go to church and uh, all these activities I have been really missed. Um, but I keep myself busy. I've been uh, making face masks and scrub caps for local hospital, uh, calling up seniors who live alone, and also catching up with friends they live far away. Um, most of all, I also enjoy cooking and I find a lot of new recipe. Wow, I feel my, my tummy is getting like you know, getting a, a new dimension. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I find more time to study God's words and also the PSF uh, Bible study. Well, um, I after this, I, I think about what's the most important thing in life is relationship with people, and especially God. And God, He is the light which shine in the darkness. Help me see the world in a different perspective. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God for keeping us safe and also his abundance during this uh, difficult time. And uh, also like pray for our family and uh, especially um, Myra, that she will be returning to work next week after the maternity leaves. Yeah, I think it would be hard for her to you know, sort of just do the new uh, new, new, role. Uh, new, new role too as well, yeah. And uh, also to keep praying for all the pandemic frontline workers, especially Naomi and Keith, they're all working in the hospital. And uh, yesterday they were saying that like, you know, there had been an um, outbreak in the war too as well. So, you know, yeah, yeah, pray for them. So that's it. Yeah, well, keep safe and yeah. uh, trusting God every day. Right. We, Mm -hmm. you take care of all of us yeah and thank you for the time have a nice day god bless bye bye
how to turn it down let me see 